no idea what we're going to do now. I just hope that Remy could convince Riley not to say a single word to her mom, Callie. It's just too shocking for her. I don't know how we're going to convince this child who's never met her real mom before to believe that this is in fact her and that she shouldn't be scared and freaked out. Kid's going to be traumatized for the rest of her life now. <sighs> and if this gets back to Adam, it's going to get even worse. I honestly have no idea what's going to happen now. I thought I'd be able to get this kid home. Everything would be fine and dandy. But I think this has just made everything so much worse. So it's the next day and I've had some time to sleep on it. And I still feel like the situation's just becoming one big hot mess. Um, but to get my mind off of it for a little bit, I want to go look for some food. Because I do have some, but not a lot. And I need to be able to feed these people some things. Especially since they're letting me stay in their village. It's not fair that I don't like contribute and stuff, even though I do have all the ores and stuff. It's kind of weird. I've been seeing some guards out here, which is kind of strange. And this is kind of like a private little community. Um, I better ask Karen about that. I, I, I still find that weird. But anyway, I can't find any animal. Is that? That's Callie over there. Uh, what does she want? And how the heck did she find us? Oh, let me just go find out. Gosh, does this woman ever go away? What are you doing here? Is this where you're living now? Cute. Maybe. Why are you here and what do you want? You know why I'm here. My daughter told me what you tried to do. First, she's not your daughter. And all I was trying to do was take her away from your crazy self. Good luck. I don't need luck. What I need is for you to go away. Oh, come on, Zai. That's not nice. So what did you come here for? Just to taunt me? I, I'm, Callie, I'm too tired to play games with you. I came here to invite you to my wedding. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, so funny. I just stopped by to tell you to leave my child alone. You'll never take her away from me. If you hurt me, you hurt her. She's attached to me. You're such a sick and twisted person, you know that? Not to my daughter. She loves me. That's the twisted part. You took this innocent child that had nothing to do with you or your, your crazy drama and you made her get attached to you. You made her love you as if you were her mother. You're not her mom. Exactly. I have her convinced. That's all that matters. It's time for you to give up. I'm always 10 steps ahead. Guys, I kind of have some bad news. I know you guys have made this little community your home and stuff, but I think we're going to have to move away. At least for the time being. I know Karen's told you a few things about Callie here and there and that she can't be trusted. And unfortunately, she's found where we live. I don't know how long she's known. I don't know how she found out nothing. But I've noticed some guards around here and I don't trust them. And I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're like friends or if they're enemies and they're here because of Callie. And I'd rather just not take the risk. I don't want to put any of you in danger. I, I can't find Karen. I'm not sure where she is. But the minute we find her, we got to pack up our stuff and we have to go. It looks like we have a guest. Um, But yeah, just get ready to go, okay? So we found Karen, we told her the situation. She completely agrees that we should move away, but I did promise Remy I would tell her everything going on. So she should be at our meeting spot now. Yeah, there she is, that red hair. I know it anywhere. She's not gonna like this, but we have to tell her. Hey Remy, it's good to see you. Hey. So I need to tell you something and I know it's gonna shock you. So I need you to stay calm, okay? And just hear me out. I need to move away. And I need you to do me one more favor. Where are you going? Don't worry. It's not far. It's just for the safety of myself and the people that I'm staying with. Okay. But you'll come back, right? Of course I will. I would never ever leave you, Remy. But I need you to get Riley by herself again. Just one more time. I'm not sure I can. I know you can do it. 
You just need to try really, really hard, okay? Okay, I'll try my bestest. <sighs> Thank you so much. I'll be back tomorrow. If for some reason I can't make it here tomorrow morning or you can't get her alone, I need you to tell Riley the truth. The truth about what? About her mom. And I don't want you to make it seem scary. I don't want you to scare her and freak her out like Karen did. I want you to just... Imagine if you were Riley. How would you want someone to tell you that your mom wasn't really your mom? And that's how I want you to approach it, okay? That's only if you can't get her by herself. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, Remy. I couldn't do this without you. <sighs> Since I need to meet Remy first thing in the morning and it's already morning time, I'm going to actually start packing up before everybody else does. Um, I'm just going to let them know to start, you know, getting ready to go by the time I get back. So as soon as I am done clearing this out, I'm going to go check on Remy. I think telling Riley the truth is the best option that we have. Um, Callie obviously has her convinced that that's her mom. And no matter what we do now, Riley is gonna, she's gonna be emotional and heartbroken no matter what. It's like, it's like having your parents and then finding out you're adopted. You know, it's like, it's a difficult situation for any child to go through. And we need to try to find the best way to do it. And I think given the fact that Remy is so innocent herself and she's so much like a child, and I don't mean that in a bad way, I think she's the best person to tell her if I can't be the one to tell her. So I'm just hoping this goes okay. And it just doesn't turn out to be uh, another disaster. And then we, uh, uh, I just don't know. Sometimes it just things, it feels like things get harder and harder. All right, so I've cleared everything up. Um, I'm going to tell them really quick to get ready. And Karen's just kind of been really emotional, been by herself, really. So I'm going to tell them and then I'm going to head out. And then I'm going to head out to tell um, Remy what's going on. Ah, perfect. Remy's waiting for us. Wait, uh, back up a second. What's that, Adam? Why is he there? Um, at least Remy knows not to talk to him. Uh, uh, Remy? Why is Adam here? I told him not to come. It's not Remy's fault. Well, you can go. I need to talk to Remy alone. Yeah. Remy, can you please leave us for a minute? Um, Remy can stay. You can go. This is weird. Please, Remy, I'll let you build a chicken coop at the house. Oh? Okay, then. Remy. Ugh, fine. Can you leave us a second, Remy, please? So, she's waiting over there. What do you want? When are you coming back? Why do you care? I'm just worried. I hadn't seen or heard from you. Um, I wasn't aware that I had to report to you. Regardless, you don't have to worry about me. I can take care of myself. You have one crazy person living in your village. Worry about that. Let's not talk about Callie right now. Um, as far as I'm concerned, that's the only thing that we have to talk about. Please, just come back. Why, so I can cause more drama? No, we need you. Ah, so now that you need me, you want me back. Also, I, I miss you. Good. I hope you miss me every second of your life and regret what side you chose. I haven't picked a side. <laughs> you did. And you picked the wrong one. And when you finally realize the truth, you're going to regret it. Now, I'm going to go back to talk to my friend. Wait. I love you. No, Adam. You don't get to say that. It doesn't make everything okay. You had your chance and you blew it. That seemed intense. It was. But let's not worry about him right now. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah. Don't don't worry about it. I just, you know, I'll be, I'll be all right. Um... So I guess you couldn't get Riley alone? Did you at least talk to her? Yeah. How was she? D did she listen? Well, I don't think it's good to tell her everything all at one time. Yep, yeah, that's a smart idea. Psh, I know I'm smart. She seems to trust me. So little by little. Okay, then keep doing that. Just tell her little by little then. You can't take too long though. I won't. Come back tomorrow and I'll give you all the updates. All right, Remy. Thanks for always being my sunshine. See, we don't need men, do we? That's right. 
<laughs> okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I love you, girly. Love you too. <sighs> All right, so I'm happy that Remy's talking to Riley, but right now my blood is boiling and I am fuming. And it all has to do with one person named Adam. How does he honestly have the audacity to say he loves me? Now, just now, out of nowhere, he had his chance. And now he wants to say it? No, he's just trying to play games. And I don't like that. And then he tries to say he didn't pick a side. Yes, he did. He basically, he kept insulting me over and over again. And then finally I had enough. So he kicked me out. I say, okay. And then now he wants to say it. No, that's not how it works. He has it all twisted. If that's how he thinks he's going to get me back. And the only reason he wants me back is because they need me around there. Because now all of a sudden they realize that nothing is functioning the way it's supposed to in the village. I'm going to make them suffer. They need to understand what they are missing out on and what they pushed away. I was willing to stay there and defend that village forever. But no, they decided to side with Callie. So let them, let them stay with Callie. The only reason why I'm worried about Callie is because I have my children living there, my grandchildren. There's an innocent child, Riley. There's Remy living there. It's not fair on them to have to live with that monster there with them. If not, I wouldn't even care at this point. I'm so tired of everybody just being so ungrateful. And now all of a sudden, they want to think, oh, let's be nice to Zai. Mm -mm, that's not how it functions. Not at all. I need to find this campsite. It's nighttime now. It seems like we're going to end up spending another night there. I'm probably going to continue to look for a place to stay. Um, and hopefully Remy keeps doing her thing with Riley and she could get it across to her. I know it's going to be difficult for Riley, but I think if she could form a bond with Remy, then maybe it'll be easier for her to trust what Remy is saying. So we just got to hope that this plan works. We can't count on Adam for anything because he's lost his brain. He doesn't have one anymore. Don't know what happened to it. I think Callie ate it or something. Maybe she's like one of these zombies or when he got infected, he lost it. Who knows? This actually looks like a good place for us to stay. It's not too far from the village. We've got water. Um, it's a nice open space where we can see if anything weird is going on. And even if we need some private place, we have the... Um, the trees right behind us to hide in and stuff like that. So I think this is where I'm going to have everyone move to. But we'll see. 